Might be a better fish. Nope. Just one buried in weeds. To whack them. It's a weed line whack fest. Oh, that's a better fish. Come on back, dude. There we go. <laughs> That is not, you know, a triple sow cow or anything like that, but I'll take it. No. How many casts in a row can we get a bass? Kidding me? This little weed line is infested with fish. I mean, when you get on a pack of fish like this, the real deal is to keep a bait in the water, and that's why this type of fishing works so much better when you have a buddy with you, but I, I mean, I don't have a buddy with me today. I mean, I wanted to have a buddy. I tried to bring my, my buddy James Overstreet, Bassmaster photographer extraordinaire. I mean, I said, let's go shoot a show on a stand-up paddleboard. No, I'm not getting on a surfboard, man. To fish? I'm not getting on a surfboard to do anything. Definitely not getting on one to fish. I mean, we got boats nowadays. We don't need to do surfboard fishing stuff. I'm out. It's not gonna happen. For some strange reason, I guess he was busy. There we go. Ouch! Stop whooping on me, Junior. There we go. Better one. Come here, dude. The weed line whack fest continues. And that dude right there is a little bit better. That weed line down there is absolutely polluted with fish. Not a giant, but whew, I'll take it. I'm starting to see movement up in the shallows. As much as I really want to beat up on these weed line fish, feeling froggy again. It's hard to leave these ones though. Come on, big mama. I want to put you on TV. No big deal. Nothing to worry about here. Speed wobble can happen. Had a big fish hit, that's what happened there. For those of you wondering at home, what it did right there was a stop, drop, and roll. Pretty standard move there. I'm expecting it too much. That's exactly what's happening here. You know, when you're expecting a fish to eat, they don't. So sometimes you have to, you know, you have to pull some Jedi tricks on them. Just act like you're not even paying attention. And then Big Mama will jerk the rod right out of your hand. Oh, gotcha. Good one, too. Come here, dude. I thought you were bigger. Uh, there you go. Uh, that dude unhooked. Absolutely dusted that little frog. God, my feet are killing me. Oh God, I know what I'm more scared of. The horse flies above the water or the snapping turtles below the water. How come it doesn't happen for me? I mean, you know, on those other shows, guys sit down, not on facts sufficient. If I'm relaxing, taking it easy, it doesn't happen. There he is. Ah, I know what you're thinking. Maybe if you were standing up, You'd have a little bit more leverage, better chance to land that fish. And I'll be honest, you're 100% correct. But if I stand up, the horse flies will eat me. I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna take this thing serious. I'm gonna brave the horse flies or deer flies, whatever they are, foot flies. Come here, dude. Oh. Come here, dude. Oh. <laughs> totally unbalanced. But as long as I'm catching good bass like this, oh. I'm happy. 
that dude right there smoked that little jig on the break. I mean, this lake is absolutely full of fish. And the cool thing is, there's a ton of lakes like this. You just have to do things that not everyone's doing. Get back to areas where not everybody's going fishing. And this setup right here allows you to do it. And that dude right there, that's what soft 